I'm personally not into extended epic battles in movies. I mean, what do you get out of it? I mean, I like cinematography and all, but making a battle last so long is just silly. It's fluff. It's the ultimate in fluff. Because you know there's going to be a winner and a loser, and there's probably going to be the good guy or the good guys who will win. Or you would have heard about it everywhere that the protagonist died or that it was a really depressing ending. Oh, but it was an epic battle. Um, okay. Yeah, it lasted a very long time and lots of very well done choreography was used to get there. Sure, you get to see unusual camera shots that look like the camera movements of a video game. Ooh, ah, you can travel with the arrow as it hits the target. Or you can watch everything go in slow motion as the bullet travels and eventually goes into someone's flesh after going through their clothing, after going through the bulletproof vest, and some neat looking visuals of how the bullet has changed shape as it hits its target. Yay, you can see how epic the battle is by viewing it from high above, looking diagonally downwards at it, like you're playing some new improved version of Civilization, as you see footage of a small handful of real people going through motions, with lots of points between that are computer-generated characters that were made in an attempt to look like their movements do not have a looping animation. You know, epic. And it should last a really, really long time, and you're supposed to be very excited about it. How epic. To me, those are effects for the sake of effects. The story could even have been told without any footage of the battles themselves at all and still be quite epic, because you would see the aftermath of the battle instead of the battle itself, which is something that actually would make it seem epic. But you know, they have to make it look like a video game. Sorry, that destroys any epic feeling it may have had otherwise. It feels cheap. It feels like I'm being told to have massive amounts of empathy towards mute NPCs in a video game. Ever see Star Trek The Motion Picture? Look at these effects. To me, this is more interesting to watch than those battles. And they don't last nearly as long as these extended battles. But this, this is special effects for people who are impressed with long, drawn-out, choreographed fighting. It's like, yeah, we know who's gonna win, but this is epic! To me, the most important thing in a movie is that you feel for the characters that are in it, or you can be in awe of how strong or extreme of a personality people have and how individual so many people in the movie are, or that it makes me think about something I would never have considered, or it tells a story about the downfalls of human tendencies. It shows what we as a society tend to do. That type of movie usually doesn't have a fairy tale happy ending. The special effects, as they can definitely give a movie a particular feeling, though not as much anymore as it all seems to be the same because we apparently like that carbon copy look or we wouldn't buy so many movie tickets. But good special effects are not crucial to a movie to make it good, and sometimes can even ruin a movie when they're overused, no matter how good those effects actually may be. There are exceptions to this though, like when the effects are used to create a mind-bending kind of scenario, like the movie Inception. Like when the reality depicted is entirely synthetic, or when the entire plot commonly revolves around the ability for that effect to be able to be done. But yeah, to me, long battles are like watching a zoomed-in view of a continuous stream of shiny falling razor blades covered in dripping blood in low gravity at one quarter speed with hard lighting, a black background and lots and lots of lens flare and all you hear is the sound of razor blades falling to the rocky ground of a deep cave with a five second reverb it might catch my attention for the first 15 seconds but after that it's just boring <laughs> 